Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and in today's Transformers TCG match, I am running Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend and Wave 2 Bumblebee in a blue action-heavy deck to help me get some big swings. Um, I'm also running two Leap of Fates. My opponent is running Blur Prowl Prowl. Blur obviously stays in alt mode to get two swings. Um, the Prowls have some car synergy, and they can swing relatively decently themselves. Um, this is uh, game two of a match, game one I shared earlier, and uh, I believe uh, I get to go first here. Um, so we both draw our three, and then uh, like I said, my opponent, uh, they don't care too much about transforming Blur. Um, I guess if they won't get to use the, his ability, they can transform him to get a bigger swing off. Um, and then wave two prowl doesn't need to transform until he's dead wave one prowl they can flip into uh, Bot mode and then back to alt mode to get some bold Bumblebee I flip and I'm gonna swing with him uh, So I draw my two for his ability when he attacks I get to sacrifice uh, An action card which I do with vaporize to draw two And I actually get an orange pip so I'm swinging with seven and Blur is defending uh, two, so he takes five. And I go ahead and drop a handheld blaster to pick up a sparring gear. I figure I want to play a little more defensively this time after the last game. My opponent goes ahead and transforms Prowl. You know, that's expected. If someone gets killed at this point, he'll get a little bit of healing on Blur. Um, I guess if, if Wave 2 Prowl somehow dies at this point, he'll get some healing on Blur. Otherwise, uh, he'll get some bold next turn. And he swings Sentinel Prowl into Bumblebee. And he swings eight. I've only got two defense, so I take six damage on Bumblebee. So definitely uh, starting out a little more tit for tat than, than the previous game. And yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this uh, Optimus Prime Bumblebee deck. I'm wondering if I'll swap out uh, Optimus Prime in Wave 3 for maybe Skywarp. Wave 3 Skywarp looks pretty cool. Um, I guess I gotta see what sort of secret actions are, are eventually gonna be available. But I like the idea of splashing in a little blue here um, and then, you know, using Bumblebee and Skywarp to uh, play some actions and get some card draw. And then uh, I put a sparring gear on Optimus, obviously want to protect him. And I go ahead and flip Optimus into bot mode. And I go ahead and swing Optimus in a prowl here. And I do get the leap into battle, so that is an 11 swing into Prowl, which without any defensive flips, Prowl does get one shot, which uh, good start, I think, here. And since both my guys are tapped, I didn't have any start your engines or anything, Blur does not get uh, his alt mode ability. My opponent goes ahead and plays his own uh, Leap into Battle and then a Noble's Blaster on uh, Blur and flips Prowl to get the extra bold. Which stat-wise, I'm wondering, I guess bold, the bold applies to both of them, right? Since he knows he's going to be swinging both, otherwise he would have just flipped Prowl. And I'm defending three. And yeah, he gets bold two. <laughs> It's 11 against Bumblebee. And uh, I only block 3, so I take 8, and that is a kill on Bumblebee. And I guess here I'm just glad that Blur doesn't get another swing. Well, you can't swing with him because he's tapped, right? You have to swing at an untapped character. Yeah, so I wonder stat wise, I guess maybe the. Blur's bot mode stat would have been a better swing than the uh, the bold <laughs> that Prowl gave him. So I take four off the Prowl attack. 
And now I'm able to attack Blur, so Blur has five damage on him. I go ahead and pick up a press the advantage. And my opponent uh, picks up a bashing shield. And I, I decided I didn't want to drop the escape route. That what I wanted to drop was the security console. Or, or flip that. I wanted to drop the escape route, not the security console. Now it's my turn. So I go ahead and play a Noble's Blaster. Makes sense. Get a weapon on him. And he does have the uh, sparring gear, which obviously can be bounced uh, or scrapped by Bashing Shield next turn. And I play Press the Advantage. Give myself two. I'm tempted to security console, but I decide to plasma burst instead to get the damage. Um, I wonder if I had not seen my, like, maybe the smarter move would have been at, at that range to do the uh, security console to drop some gear. Oh, and here's where I got scared. There's a brainstorm, uh, but instead of an ice, two ice still functions, he plays incoming transmission. I think he's fishing for maybe an ice still function. Puts his card on top and does supercharge. So Prowl will get a uh, bull three swing. I block six. And he deals seven seven damage. Uh, so I'm sitting at 11, so I am not dead yet. That was a good attempt. Yeah, I've, all I've got on my hand are actions. And now time for my attack flip. So, okay, so I've got a leap of faith. I've got a leap into battle, and I'm doing some math here. I think my opponent started flipping defense early. Um, but I'm, I'm deciding the math here. And I decide to leap into battle. And that is good game to my opponent. That's enough damage for the win. And uh, that's it for this game. But yeah, I just wanted to show off uh, kind of how I thought this matchup would go. And uh, I think it, it was a really fun game. These decks are both really fun. I need to try out Blur, Prowl, Prowl at some point. I think I've got some further tweaks I like to make. I, you know, finally running Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend was a lot of fun. And I'll catch you guys on the next game. Have a great day, everyone.